Hey guys, it's Jane. It's Friday and it's quite a wintry Friday afternoon here and I've come to do a Friday Reads. I um, have read quite a bit this week so I've got quite a lot to tell you about. However, I was up and down pretty much all night last night because the baby just wouldn't settle and my brain is only functioning on about one and a half cylinders and I've tried to do this video now about eight times and I just... I just keep getting trapped. My tongue just keeps rolling around and I can't get the words out. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to run through what I've read and maybe make one or two comments about it. If there's anything that you find that you want to know more about, ask me in the comments and we can thrash it out like that. I finished. The Core of the Sun by Joanna Sinasalo, translated by Lola Rogers. This is a Finnish um, near future science fiction dystopia story um, that's kind of about the war of the sexes and kind of about social control from sort of central government agencies and kind of about um, chili peppers and the rush that you can get from them. I really enjoyed it. It is quirky um, while also being chilling in a kind of Margaret Atwood handmaid's tale sort of a way. Uh, the second book that I finished is book two in the uh, in James S.A. Corey's Expanse series, Caliban's War. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I love the first one, but I think... Now, reading the second one, I realise how invested I am in the characters. There was one point at which I thought uh, a main-ish character had died and I just, I literally almost found myself crying. I like, I had to, I had to close the book and I had just literally, I had to go and do something. I had to go and do something because I was so kind of emotionally overwrought. It's very tightly paced and um, there's lots of interesting stuff going on. I also finished Lorinda by Alice Pung. Um, I read this because my uh, In Real Life book club is reading this this month. It's a school story. It's, the main character is, I think, 15 and she is in the third last year of high school and she comes from a not wealthy background and now has been accepted as a scholarship student into this really poncy upper class girls school. It was really well done. Um, it was so emotionally devastating at points. Um, the the characterization was really strong. It's not the kind of book that I normally read, but this was just amazing. Alice Pung is a, a Melbourne author, and I've read works by her before, and this is a really strong story. Um, I understand it's actually been released under a different title in the States, but I, for, the, for the life of me, I can't remember what the alternate title is. Now, a book that I didn't finish this week was The Choir Director by Carl Weber. I tried. I thought it might be a fun trashy read but I just couldn't. I got to 9% before I dropped it and looking back I probably should have dropped it earlier. It's just such a trash fire. The final book that I finished this week is um, The Devil's Advocate by Daryl Gregory. Um, this was a really interesting science fiction story. Um, I just finished this today it's set in Tennessee and kind of the present day, um, an alternate present day. And in the story, about 15 years in the past, something happened in this very small town in Tennessee. Um, and people just started getting sick. About a third of everybody in the town died. Those who remained, almost all of them, came out of it changed. So there are three different types of genetic mutation that came out of this fever that people had. And they've kind of created three different versions of humans who are all living um, in this little town. And then 
15 years after the first outbreak, a new outbreak um, in Ecuador of the same thing starts. And then all of a sudden, the CDC is back and the quarantine is back. And um, this was actually a really moving book and um, a great read. That is what I read this week. I'm going to just leave it there. I haven't yet decided what I'm going to pick up now, having finished Devil's Al Al Alphabet. Um, maybe I'll go back and look at uh, picking up another women in translation book. There were lots of great recommendations that people left on my video last week. So that's it. That's the story. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys are reading. I hope you're all well, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.